I, all, I want to tell all of you something that happened, something that happened last Sunday, something that didn't happen, that happened here, but it also happened in the heaven. It's also happened in the heaven. What happened was, is clearly described in Luke um, chapter 15, verse 7. Um, Jesus says that, I tell you that in the same way there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who do not repent. So because of someone in this church, there was a great rejoicing in heaven because a sinner came, a sinner repented of his sins and that person came to know the Lord Jesus. And before taking much time, I will invite that very person to come and share what the Lord has done in their life. Richena was talking about. Yeah. Um, last Sunday, which was the 8th of July, it was just a normal Sunday for you guys, but it was a day that changed my life. Um, it was a, I made a life-changing decision, and it was the day that I was born again. Well, Richiana wanted to talk to me for a few weeks, but he didn't have the chance to because we both had other things, and we he didn't have a chance to talk to me. And so last Sunday, he talked to me about how God was wanting him to talk to me and like get him to get me to Christ. So, um, but he didn't know that I was going through rough times. And um, when Rich and I was talking to me, I, I was just standing there and I was, I was so thankful for like, um, God getting rich and, uh, and talking to him, talking to me because I was just, I don't have big problems like you do, but um, I was, um, I'm only 15 and I still have problems and I, I used to cry a lot every day for little things. I used to just go into my room and cry and cry the whole time, but I never prayed to God like to help me. I, you know, I come to church every day and I, every Sunday and I used to be all happy and everything and you guys, I think I'm a happy child and everything, but well, I wasn't really happy. Um, before I came to Christ, I I don't like anyone. I hated myself. I I was just, you know, I didn't um like anyone. It was it was really bad, and you know, I used to pray every day that you know God just give me a disease or something so I could you know just die, not want to leave. And I thought that was the only way I could you know, get rid of my problems. And when Richina talked to me, it was, it was after he talked to me and he asked me, he was like, do you want to talk, you want to pray with me now so you could accept God or I could give you some more time so you, you could come back later. And I had five seconds to think about it and I was like, wait, what, what if, you know, something happens, you know, next week I would what if like I'm not alive or like what if the world ends or anything you know and I was like you know what I'm just gonna accept God now and we prayed together and when I went home I was you know I was a total different person I've, I've changed and everything and um you know when I used to didn't like people and everything you know I now I look back to it I'm like wait if I hate that many people I mean God's looking down on us and there's seven billion people Sinning every day. How much? What, I mean, doesn't he doesn't he get angry for sinning and everything? And um, I I tell myself I'm like, how many people from Kottagudam have a chance to live in New Zealand and have the things I'm gifted with? I mean, so many people out there don't have water, electricity, or anything. So um, I've started appreciating things that I actually have and like. I have so many things that others don't, and I used to, you know, always be like, why can't I just have a, like a teenager life? Why I used to always look at people and be like, am I the only one that has problems? Like, am I the only one that's unhappy? While well, everyone's having fun and doing anything, <coughs> everything. And when you know, Dave Uncle used to be like, talk to your friends, like tell them to come to church and everything, so they could accept God as well. And I used to be so embarrassed, you know. I used to be like, what if they laugh at me or something? And now that I've, you know, come to Christ and I've changed, 
I, I'm, I want to be an example to my friends. I don't want that. I want. I don't want to go up to them and say, "Come to my church and everything." I want them to look up to me, be like, "Look! Oh, look how much Shweta has changed since she's attracted God." And as soon as I went home that Sunday, I, I went when I was sleeping. I was like, "Why? Why am I wasting so much time?" I also remembered when David Uncle used to tell us last year in the holidays. He was. He was like, why are you guys sleeping till like 12 o'clock? You, you guys are wasting your valuable lives while you could go outside and do something. And now that I think about it, you know, I, I've wasted so much time in my life. And I used to have, you know, I used to be on the internet the whole time. Like I used to have blogs, I used to have Facebook, Twitter and everything. And as for the whole last week, I, I deactivated my Facebook and everything. I, I learned that time is valuable. And my promise for this year was from Hebrews 13.5, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And one of my close friends suggested me to listen to this song called All This Time by Brit Nicole. And that day I was, I was in my room crying. I shut the door and um, when my friend texted me this, I went on the computer, I listened to it. And it related to my life so much and it went, um, all this time you were with me and everything. Um, it's it's great. It related to my life so much because it was my life story in one song. And um, every day before I accepted God, I used to I used to cry and sleep. I used I was never happy. I now I always sleep, knowing that God is with me, and He has always been with me since the day I was first born. My life may not be going the way I planned it, but it is definitely going the way God planned it. And I know if he started this work in my life, he will be faithful to finish it. Be yeah. Um, I just, and I've been, now I look at the things I've been blessed with. And I've been blessed with great parents, great family, and um, great friends, and great church. And there's nothing more I could ask for. And I just want to thank God for being with me always and blessing me with such things that many people don't have. And yeah, thank you.